this episode, we meet Pastor Mtutuzeli Michael Thompson from St. Mary Church of Christ in Pretoria. Later on in the show, we meet a member who is involved in this ministry and we hear their take on it. Welcome to Church Point. I'm your host, Sarah Nguveni. In John 1, we read that the Word was in the beginning, and through Him all things were made. In Him there was life. In Him there is light. He is Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh. Now that we have received Him, we are the light of the world. We are encouraged in Matthew 5, verse 16, to shine that the Word will see the good works and glorify our Father in heaven. Here on Church Point, we give churches the platform to share their good works and give God all the praise. Today we give the floor to St. Mary Church of Christ in Pretoria. To Church Point, we have Pastor Mtutu Zeli Thompson with us in studio. Pastor, welcome. Pastor, Thank please you. tell me when and how did it all begin? How did you receive Christ? Uh, Sarah, uh, I, I grew up in the Christian family in Eastern Cape. Uh, fortunately, I didn't uh, play with other things except the uh, uh, things about God. I was imitating my father and my grandfather and uh, that's, that's where i become to to be the christian and i learned more things to them and then when i grew up i preached the word of god when did you become a preacher uh, i become the preacher since 1990 in eastern cape uh, under the reverend cases paulo statel is the one who motivate me to preach the word of god Pastor, tell me a little bit about your church. Uh, the church, Ethiopian Orthodox Church in Southern Africa, was established in Eastern Cape by uh, the late father, Ephraim Mwopa. Uh, the first visit, uh, because the church was in Ethiopia, hmm. we estab he established the church after that uh, we, re, we have a communication with the Archbishop Abuna Eseha in America. It's where he visited South Africa in 1990. After he, his visit, he ordained a 12 priest. After that, he referred us to the Ethiopian Orthodox Church Tuahedo in Addis Ababa. Hmm. Father Deliza, went to Addis Ababa, he bring the church in South Africa. And then in 2001, the, His Holiness, Abba Abuna Paulus, he came to South Africa. And then we established the church in South Africa, in Joburg uh, and in Pretoria. Hmm. Why did you choose Pretoria? Um, is location important or do you think that was part of God's plan to be positioned where you are? 
Uh, Mem, I think it is uh, part of God because I didn't choose uh, Pretoria by myself. Uh, I can say God sent me to Pretoria mm. because the Archbishop was looking for the priest that can serve the church. Mm. And then he appointed me to go. There. Why do you think God sent you to Pretoria? What is it that your church is doing within the community um, where you're based? Where I based in Pretoria. We have a lot of uh, work to do to, to show the people and to teach them about God because the youth today, they doesn't know about God. So I think God sent me there to, to talk to them, to preach the gospel, mm. so that I can convince them, if you are in Christ, you are newborn. So when you preach to them and talk to them, um, what do you tell them uh, concerning the vision of the church? What is the vision? Uh, the vision of the church, Ethiopian Orthodox Church, is uh, one God, a trinity. We believe on, on the Trinity, which is one God. And then what I, I preach to the, to the people in Pretoria is accept Jesus Christ as the Savior. Uh, fortunately, this time, uh, there are many people to come to the church. And also the church, uh, we've got uh, the healing. The church is when you pray for them. Some of them, them come to the church, they are sick. And then we pray, we've got also the holy water where we, we wash them with the holy water, and after that, the people, they, they are happy because they feel uh, is, is the best thing to go to the church, especially in Pretoria. Mm. I'd like to know, Pastor, from you, um, what kind of gospel do you preach? I heard you, you just said healing. What is it that you focus on, that you feel that God wants the people that you, you preach to to know? Uh, the kind of gospel we are praying, as I said, uh, we are, we are uh, praying for the people. Also, we, we show the people that it is very important to accept God. Because if uh, we, we notice that or we can remember that when Jesus Christ uh, ordained his discipline, he said to them, go and baptize them in the name of of the, of, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Mm. So by baptizing them, by, by baptizing with the holy water, is to make them, their body, to be, to, re, to be the new in the Holy Spirit, to be the new in the body, to accept Jesus Christ. And uh, we wash uh, away their sins, and then they can follow Jesus Christ. So do you, uh, how do you get accepted into your ministry? If somebody comes to church, I hear you say, um, you ha do you do that first? Uh, if a viewer could be watching and saying, okay, what happens if I go to Pastor Thompson's church? To be accepted, accepted, do you have to wash me first and then I can follow Christ? Or do you preach the word and that comes as, as something that happens later uh, on? A good question, ma'am. Uh, what uh, we did in the church, uh, we teach you first and we preach the gospel, when you accept that uh, uh, Jesus Christ is a savior, and then we go to the next step. We go to, to, to the baptism room, and we baptize you as the member of the church, and wash away your sins. Thank you, Pastor. I'm gonna to chat to you some more after the break. Don't go away, we'll be back after the short break.